Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I am going to be reviewing Rem Beauty. Oh god, that almost fell out and it's very very expensive. I am going to be doing a makeup look with the three products I have from Miss Ariana Grande, Miss Ponytail herself, her new makeup line Rem Beauty. I am so freaking excited you guys because I've had these products on my desk for the past... Six days. I got these on Christmas. Or no, five days. Five days? I don't know. Well, I got them almost a week ago, and I haven't been able to review them because I've been very busy. So I'm finally ready to review them, and I am so excited. I love Ariana Grande. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, she, without being, like, I'm trying, I'm not trying to make this dramatic, but she saved my life countless amounts of times like whenever I'm sad or in a state of mind that isn't good I guess I just listen to her music or sometimes I don't even listen to her music just her smile and her perspective on the world just really keeps me going and I adore her so much she's definitely one of my favorite people in the entire world and so when I heard she came out with a beauty line makeup line I was like I need it I got all of these products for Christmas and I am so freaking grateful because I know they are so, so, so expensive. So I got the plumping lip gloss on your collar plumping, okay that's in French. I got the on your collar plumping lip gloss in the shade Chucky. The flourishing volumizing mascara in the shade Midnight Black. And then lastly I got a Midnight Shadows eyeshadow palette and it is called Midnight Snack. Before I start using all the products that I've gotten, I'm going to be using the rest of my stuff to do the rest of my face that I don't have from Rem Beauty. So basically I'm gonna start off by putting on some lip butter or lip balm. Um, it's from The Body Shop, it's in coconut. And the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer to prime my face. to be putting on some foundation to even out the skin because I've got a few like breakouts and I just want this makeup look to look clean and flattering <laughs> um, so I'm going to be using the Revlon natural finish anti-pollution foundation in the shade 200 time I'm so excited I can't okay so I have prepped the face it is all ready and good to go <sighs> so excited so I've already opened the packaging and I've already looked at the products like opened them and looked at them but I have not used a single thing I promise you I really wanted to have like my first impressions in this video so I have opened the palette and the lip gloss and stuff but nothing where I used it nothing so I I'm so excited to finally use it. So I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette and uh, I already know what look I'm gonna do. I'm so excited. So these are the shades, like, like it's even prettier. Okay, so this is the packaging. So Ariana really went with like a space theme, galaxy kind of effect on this beauty line, which I am in love with because I love space and anything to do with space. And that is why it is called Rem Beauty. REM means rapid eye movement, which is a sense of mind when you're in deep sleep. It's when you're dreaming, like you're in a different world. That's what that means, REM, rapid eye movement. And uh, when I think of rapid eye movement, when I'm in a deep sleep, I think of stars and moons and galaxy, and that's what this beauty line represents. So I just love the whole connection there, and I absolutely love her song, REM. Please go listen to the song, it's incredible, and I just, I love everything about this beauty line and the background and the message and the theme. I love Galaxy, I can't. So I'm gonna get into it, I promise. I will not keep rambling, but the packaging is like super minimalistic, but cute. Like I'm not in love with the droopy letters and the gray like space theme. And here is the palette. I can't, 
I love it. So again, we have that galaxy space rocket ship kind of steel vibe with this palette and I've heard a lot of hate about it on the internet and I feel like she could have done like a little bit more creativity with it but I also know that if she did something even more like detailed I know that it'd be a lot more money and honey already this is very expensive so everybody shut up please I'm joking it's just that um I like it it's minimalistic and pretty and just very easy to put in your bag and I don't know I'm really into it so it's this like steel kind of structure and then it says Rem Beauty and then we're gonna open it Ta -da! I mean look at those shades this is so pretty and the palette is way heavier than I thought like it's not very heavy but it feels like quality you know what I mean very very pretty colors I'm obsessed so I'm going to be using the pinkish kind of tones today I will not be working with the blue or the black um, I am going to first start off with the neutral pinks and whites and that glitter shade there and we'll see what I can do okay so I'm going to be dipping in the shade eggnog first which is the oops it's not focusing it's the whitish creamish kind of color so I'm gonna use that as a base and kind of smear it around my eyelids okay okay I see I know it's probably tough to see on camera and it's zooming out but uh I, wow, it's, it looks creamy, this whitish, creamish shade. Like, it's really, like, smearing onto my eyelids and really melting into the skin, which I love. Okay, so I am loving the creamish white shade. I know it's probably very hard for you to tell on camera, but in person, it really, like, defines the eye and makes it look like a canvas, like a fresh canvas. I don't know how else to explain it. Now I'm going to be dipping into the shade Sachet Sorbet, which is the middle shade right here. Um, and I'm going to be using this brush and just kind of putting it below the crease, kind of, like just on the over the eye, kind of, and kind of make like the base kind of color. You know what I mean? Okay, so I think this shade is pretty, but I wish it was more pigmented. Um, I had to like apply several layers just to get like a little bit of shadow and still you can kind of barely see it. Um, also another thing is it's more brownish than it is like the pink neutral tone that's in the thing. So I like it, obviously I'm still gonna use it. It's just um, I wish it was more like darker or pigmented so that like I don't have to do so many layers and dip it in so many times. So I guess that's kind of my like only feedback or critique but I still like it and I still think it looks good. Um, so now we're getting into more of the fun stuff so I'm going to be using the darkest pink neutral shade and it is the shade Plumpledore which I really love and I'm going to <clears throat> put it into my crease and blend it in so that it makes like that, I don't know, outer shadow kind of effect. I'm really excited for the shade. I hope it turns out well, so let's dip. Ooh, okay, this one already looks way more pigmented and like dark on the brush. Oh, okay, okay, I really like this one. Okay, you probably don't see in the camera, um, but right when I put it on my eye, I could tell what I'm doing and I could tell that the shadow was there. As in, with the last shadow I did, it was very, very, very light. See, you can kind of see even in the camera, like that dark shadow, that's that shade. And I just applied it like one tiny bit. Okay, I am into that. That looks really, really nice and very smoky. I am going to do the same on the other eye, but so far I'm loving that shade. I really like this. I really like that shade and I knew that that one would be like my favorite But um, we still have more to go and let me know if you guys ever want me to do like a blue look with this and like the black Let me know in a different video um, But now to end off the eyes I'm going to be dipping into the shade whipped cream and it's this like very glittery gray toned shade and I'm gonna use it in the inner eye to go into the crease kind of and make that like I don't even know I'm just gonna do something okay okay so we're just gonna 
pop her. Ooh, that's a lot of shadow. See, that's what I was expecting from the middle shade. That's what I want. Okay, let's try. That is gorgeous, you guys. I love this shade. So pretty. I'm going to also drop it down into the corner of my eye so that there's like sparkle right there. Add a little bit more. Yes, I love this. Okay, you guys, so that's it for the eyeshadow. I'm not yet done with the eyes though. I have to do the mascara still, but I am liking this. So I give this palette roughly around an eight out of 10. I really like the shadows and I love the packaging and everything, just that one shadow I wish was more out there, um, but I am in love. It looks really, really pretty and I don't know. It's like giving smoky vibes, but it's like also like neutral and everyday like. I recommend this palette. Okay, so we are now going to be doing the mascara, which I'm so excited for because I don't have a good mascara and I've heard really great things about this one. Um, so this is the packaging. Again, very, very, very cute, very simple and minimalistic, but again with the pretty drippy letters. And then over here is the shade. Um, and let's open it. I've already seen it, but you guys, did I just drop a very, very expensive mascara? Yes, I did. Is it okay? Yes. It is, thank God. Here is the beautiful packaging. I am obsessed. Like this is a one of a kind mascara just by the packaging. And I just love it because you just know that this is Miss Ariana Grande's, you know? Like I just, <gasps> the space theme in this is mm, very similar to the palette and very modern. And again, it says Red Beauty. Um, so this is the flourishing, or no, the, the volumizing mascara, there is two. There's a volumizing one and then there's a lengthening one. I got the volumizing one, actually, well, my mom did for my for Christmas. Um, and let's take a look at the wand. Yes. And there's so much like product in here. I feel it. Like it feels very creamy. Okay, so I'm very nervous, but very excited. So let's try her out. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, that's so pretty, that's so pretty, that's so pretty. <sighs> Y'all, I'm not the best at putting on mascara, so don't judge me, but I love this. Holy, that is so pretty. I'm gonna try my bottom lashes. Oh my god, I know I'm making a mess. I don't know how to put on mascara. Wow, I am obsessed with this mascara, you guys. I love it. Don't judge by my eyelashes, because one, my eyelashes are the tiniest, most small, thin, tiny eyelashes ever. So barely any mascara can make them look big. Um, and secondly, I suck at putting I suck at putting on mascara, so but wow. Like, wow, I really, really love it. It's um, very creamy, very nice, love the wand. The one thing though is it's a little, little clumpy, but not too much, nothing dramatic. Um, but that's not, I don't know. It's just, I feel like it's a little clumpy, but nothing too big. So, oh my God, I love this mascara. Like nine, nine and a half out of 10. Okay, you guys, the last Rem Beauty product that I have to test out today is the plumping lip gloss. So apparently it's not just any kind of lip gloss, it's a plumping one. So apparently it gives that tingling, burning kind of sensation, nothing too harsh, but it just gives you that kind of feel that it's like plumping your lips. So um, again, mine is in the shade Chucky. And again, very similar packaging, very, very cute. Um, and it, you guys, is this lavender, sparkly, spacey lip gloss. She has a lot of shades of lip gloss, like she came out with a lot, but I personally just really wanted the lavender one because I've never had that kind of color of a lip product. And I just, I love it. it you guys, it's so pretty. Like, look at this. I hope it focuses. Okay. Um, it's this like shiny light purple and the packaging is so cute, but it's very, very tiny. I just gotta say that. It's a lot of money and it's very tiny, but I love it. Kind of gives me like a mini rocket vibe. <laughs> if you know what I mean? You know, like the mini ones? That's what this gives me. 
like that's the vibe I get from it. This is the applicator, you know, your regular standard lip gloss. And you guys, I don't know if like all the lip glosses are meant to smell like this, but mine smells like lollipops. Like I'm not even kidding. It smells like a cotton candy lollipop. Like I love the smell. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Guys, wow, this is so pretty. I, ooh, I feel the, I feel the tingle. I feel it. It's not like too much, like that it's like distracting. It's like really nice. Like my lips feel breezy and refreshing and it really feels like it's like working. And you guys, the shade, I can't, the, the shine, like, <gasps> The glossiness and also a really big thing is that it's not sticky you know how like every lip gloss is like sticky against your lips this one is so smooth and it glides <gasps> I love this whoa the more I have it on the more I feel the sensation I love it Wow <gasps> this is so pretty you guys and it really puts the look together Wow I think this is my favorite product I can't get over the shade like oh my gosh and I'm sure all the lip glosses all the rest of the shades are really pretty too but I'm so glad that my mom got me this one because oh, it's so pretty I've never had a lip gloss like this wow I'm very impressed I for sure give this lip gloss a 10 out of 10 because it's laid in the shade in the stickiness because there's none the packaging I really like and the plumpingness like I really feel the tingling well that you guys is my review on Rem Beauty at least the three products that I have I am obsessed I will definitely be buying more stuff later on when I get more money <laughs> but I am in love I love everything and um, I'm obsessed with this look too I hope you guys liked it and let me know down below if you What's your favorite product from them? Even if you haven't tried them, which one do you want to get? I love every single product, but I think my favorite is the plumping lip gloss. I just, I can't get over how pretty it is. <laughs>enjoyed this video and definitely try Rem Beauty because I love it and yeah I will see you guys in my next video see ya oh the glitter <laughs>